Oh. A little schnooky. Well, that's a good way to start out the day, Richard. Real good way to start out the day. Come here, little dude. Get the old Vulcan snook hold on his belly. Ah. Little snook. Welcome to this episode of Addictive Fishing. We're back in the Everglades. We've got Richard Martin Inc. showing us these killer spots again. We've got the canoe man, Merle Chandler, here. We're going to be catching some snook here. We're here for three days. We rented a houseboat from Flamingo Lodge. And uh, we're just going to see what we can get here in three days' time. We should catch a lot of fish, have a really good show. This bay back in here is, is, is just all mud. Most fantastic place in the world. When the tide goes out, it'll dry up. There's an oyster bar bank right there, and it can be landlocked in there. And then, welcome to this episode of Addictive Fishing. We're back in the Everglades this year, and we're at the same spot where we did where we were in here last year catching these snook. We're going to come in here and see if they're in here again. We're calling this one 2001: A Glades Odyssey. There's a hook set. How's that? There you go. <laughs> what a neat little spot. All right. Oh, a little drag scooting too. Uh oh. All these logs in here, you gotta watch out. A little bit bigger. A little bit bigger. Look at him. He loved that little root beer. Terrorize. I'm just gonna let you go. Look there, got him just like a bash. Look how shiny he is. Nice and clear, nice and white. Does that mean That's they it. just come in from the Gulf? Yeah. Man, I'd hate to be him out in the Gulf with all them other big fish out there. Pretty little snook. Corpus love that size. <laughs> I love the Everglades. Well, the nice thing is you can do this again tomorrow, too, you know what I mean? Yeah. So there should be another one right over That's there. That's where you got to be, right in there, that hole. Nice fish. Yeah, dude. You got to get uh, gas, too. Look at that, another fish. <laughs> Can't beat it. Look at that little snook. Yeah. Hopefully, Richard, we won't make this spot famous, though. <laughs> nice little guy. Oh, come on, dude. Don't get me all wet now. I'm going to let you go again. Get out of there, guy. And they love them little root beer tear eyes. Whew, what a pretty fish. And uh, a lot of people think they see with their eyes, but they see with that lateral line right there. All fish have that lateral line, if you didn't know. I know a lot of people of you out there know, but a lot of people don't. But that's how they feel the vibration of that little tear eyes hitting the bottom of the of the of the mud down there. It kicks up little puffs of mud, and these lead heads. What they do is they hit the mud like this as you're bouncing them off the bottom, and those snook they just can't resist them. Just cannot resist them. This guy's about to beat up. I need to change this one. We're going to change this one out here. Go do some more wading in the mouth of that broad river because these bugs are just tearing me up. And uh, we'll see you in a bit. Wow, look at it. It's like somebody opened up the dam. Well, it's, this is neat. It's the first time I've ever seen this. This is just like the tide moving in. Just like coming in everywhere. It's like somebody just opened the floodgates in about, uh, about an hour, hour and a half. Maybe even a little more. It's gonna be uh, waist deep here. This is gonna be dumping over right over in here. There's another little oyster bed. And what happens is those red fish and those snook will get in here and work. And as the tide flows over this little sandbar here, it's dumping all these little crabs. And if you can see here, there's thousands of these little snails. These are all these little black dots and stuff. There's snails. And fish eat on these, and little shrimp. 
everything gets washed over there and that's where the food chain is out here. Everything's just eating and eating and eating. <laughs> I'm gonna go catch one. Well, the tide's moving in right now and what we're doing, we're working the shoreline down and we're seeing all these little, like little private, little Sebastian Inlets coming in here and we're working all these little stumps and stuff where these snook like to come up and hang. So we gotta cast out, we're just kinda working, waiting for one. There he is, right there. What do we got? Nice snook. Hello, baby. Come on. I knew this spot looked good, brother. I knew this spot looked good. <laughs> God, I love this. Like uh, my camera guy said earlier yesterday, he said, man, it's like miles and miles and miles of your own little Sebastian Inlets around here. And Sebastian Inlets a place where I grew up, up on the Space Coast. That, uh, that we used to go snook fishing. It's a great little inlet to go. And uh, you go down and you catch snook, but it's so crowded now. But this place down here, you got your own little inlets wherever you go. Look at this guy. For some reason, these guys just love to fight down here. Love to fight. Ooh. Come on, dude. Come right up here to me. Yes. Get a hold of your lip here. Come on, come on, come on. Get a hold of your lip, then I'll freeze. Come on, open up for me. Hello. Got you all perfect, right in the roof of the mouth. Uh, let's go get off good. Let's go get off real good. There we go. Hooks out. Hooks out. We'll let this guy go. Let him sit here and suck on your thumb. It'll clamp down on it. Come on, clamp down. And when he's ready to go, there he goes, he's clamping now. So he's got a real good firm hold on me. Hang on. When he's ready to go, he'll, there he's fixing to go. Fixing to go. Come on, buddy. Come on, buddy, kick. Kick it on. He's just gliding with that current. You make sure he kicks on. Kick on. Come on, buddy. Kick on. There he goes. There he goes. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. But that's a nice snook in the Everglades on a nice, nice day. Y'all stay tuned, we'll be right back. Nice fish, nice snook. Ah. There he is, he was just over there waiting for this thing. Oh, he's gonna get me. The ultimate goal is getting a couple of them big snook that, that hang out in here that we got last year. Come on, guy, eat the whole thing. It's amazing all this was dry up here this morning. This is where all those little oysters and stuff are closing real quick and the water shoots up out of them. Really neat to see right early in the morning like that. Here come the fishing addicts. There he is, right there. Nice snook. Here we go, baby. Woo! <laughs> yes, sir. That's all we needed. Everybody to get here. Oh, yeah. He's coming around this side. I don't want him getting close. Oh, nice fish. It's a nice snook. Real nice, nice snooker. Nice snook. You gotta love it. Come on, dude. He's gonna jump. There you go. You gotta love it. You gotta love this. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Come here, Bubba. He just swallowed up that root beer tear eyes. Man, these fish, I don't know what it is about these fish, but they sure do pull harder down here. <laughs> Come here, baby. Give me that mouth, the snook hold, and another nice line cider. Now he's getting that Labrador look. Ha, 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 ha.
What do you think? That is a beauty. That is a beauty. Oh, come on. Come on. Oh, oh. He's got the slime on me. He got terrorized me. He wasn't going nowhere. Unless he used these great gill plates right there. If you can see those. That's what, that's what Snook usually will snap you off on. Uh, like an instant. They'll just snap you. But that is a beautiful Everglades snook. Mm. Beautiful fish. Let him suck my thumb. There's oyster shells all over the place here, so and we saw some bait flipping over there by that stump and the, the shoreline over there. And it gets down on the bottom, and as you bring in that terrorize on the bottom, you can just you can feel it sitting there knocking those oyster shells. It's just going on the bottom, going da -da 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 -da. and when you give it twitches and you're twitching it up like we're doing it, it's going da -da 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 boom and coming up and then sit. And you let it sit on the bottom like that. And sometimes those the, the snook will come up and eat it. And then you don't know you don't know that the snook's got it, but when you come up and pop it off the bottom again, the snook might have it and you automatically set the hook that way. And you catch your fish. Nice fish. Nice snook. Ah. There he is. He was just over there waiting for this thing. Oh, he's gonna get me. Oh, don't get me on that route. Come right at me. Thank you very much, Snook. Oh, he's been right here before. <laughs> Look at that baby. Golly. What a fish. God, was that awesome. Oh. Hello, Mr. Schnooke. Don't you even think you're gonna get in there. Man, this little six foot rod. Man, what a rush. What a rush, not expecting that one. That was a good surprise. Whew. You might need that, hang on tight. Get that lovely little my favorite right there, root beer terrorize. Blind ciders in the Everglades. Whew. Awesome, awesome, awesome. I'm gonna let him suck on my thumb till he's ready to go. Let you look at him one more time. <laughs> See you later. Look how he blends right in. He's the same color. There he goes. Oh. Awesome. He was just right over there by that bait over there, flicking over there. I'm gonna have to retie my leader here, so while I retie my leader, I'll watch these messages and we'll be right back. <laughs> this yeah, fish really. has been here before. Yeah, go go with that fish, man. Just uh, stay where you're at. Don't try to reel in under them. I think I had a nibble. Look out, Mr. Nichols has just been mic'd. Oh, they're in here. There he is. Well, welcome back. We've moved back now to the place where we were last year. One of the most one of the most famous things everybody talks about on the show. And uh, Merrill Chandler, the canoe man, was standing a few yards back behind us when this uh, little bull shark, everybody sent us emails and said, hey, it was a little bull shark. But uh, anyway, a little bull shark came up and ate, ate a trout about this size that Merrill caught last year. And it was it was pretty funny seeing everybody talked about it, but man, these speckle trout are pretty down here. Just as clean as they can be. Just let him just carry on. There he is. Where are you at, Pinocchio? I guess you don't care about my little trout anymore, do you? Ooh, where are you at, Pinocchio? Good, it go is to a good money. Fish. Holy cow. Oh, it's a giant. That's a real good fish. Come here to me, Mark. Come to me, come to me, I'm, come I'm to me. I'm watching. This yeah, fish has really. been here before. Yeah, go go with that fish, man. Just uh, stay where you're at. Don't try to reel in under him. There he is. Let him go under you for now. And as soon as it gets past you, then reel in. Let's 
son. That's a quality fish, and he's doing like you say. He knows what he's trying. He wants to do. Woo, baby. He might be about whooped. Good fish. You gotta come back on the front yeah, side. Watch, watch it, watch it. You're gonna get too deep right there. I'm gonna get too deep. Go back in the front. Quality fish. I'm glad you followed me. Look at me. I'm shaking like a leaf. Hello, baby. Uh, come on, open up for me. Thank you. Oh. 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 <laughs> oh. Look at this fish. Look at this That's fish. A nice one. Ah, it's a pig. <laughs> now nice that's got fish. the Labrador look there, bro. Woo. Pretty fast. Nice, man. Very nice. <sighs> Richard Martinique, thank you very much for showing us this spot. Uh, while y'all are on the houseboat having lunch, we're catching that some- That is a nice fish. Some Labrador. He's getting bigger. Labrador <laughs> schnook. Nice job. <sighs> Nice man. Fish. That is that's Look the at him. Whoa. Fish right there. I'm grabbing for a root beer terrorize now, you dog. Nice. Got him on a little Fenor 1000, 10 pound test. Let's go, give me one. Little six foot rod. I'm gonna get this hook out and you can weigh this fish, but I think he's bigger than, what'd, you, what'd I say? Or what'd he say? 14 pounds? I think he's a little bigger than 14. You tell me. Now yeah, let's see what this fish is here. Put it on the official mark scale. Mm, might be 15. Might it be might 15. be. Yeah, that's a good fish. Very healthy. Very healthy. Nice and silver. Let me see. I'm gonna get him to suck on my thumb here. She's green. She wants to go again. I'm gonna go set her down, down, down ways on the current. Happy girl. Pretty fish. Get on. Kick, kick. Went under that school of mullet over there, just started. Probably starting to eat again. <laughs> Mark, hey, thanks, thanks for the invite again down here. Hey, 2001 DOA in the Glades. What are we gonna call it, a Glades Odyssey. I'm it's, telling it's you. It's been awesome. Just, if we could just do the same thing every year, I'd be happy. <laughs> I don't have to have much more than we've got. I think I think it's a pretty good little tradition we can start. Yeah, I think everybody you. out there likes it. That was one of the most com commented shows from last the year. The annual affair. Yeah. It's uh, simplicity. It's very nice, beautiful place. Well, we'll be back again next year. Y'all don't forget about the website, addictivefishing.com. We'll see you next week. Adios. If he runs, let him go. That's a nice fish there. <laughs>